Hey everyone, welcome back to TST's reviews and stuff. In this video, we'll be having a camera comparison between the iPhone 13 and the Pixel 4a. Now being my first ever comparison video, there may be some areas in which this video may lack, but I'll try and give it my best. To compare them, I'll be comparing the photos with a few portraits and night shots, a video comparison in 1080p at 38 frames per second, which will include a microphone test for both the front and the rear camera. Now some of you might be thinking that considering the price difference between the two phones, it should be a very unfair comparison. However, trust me, don't let that cheap price tag on the Pixel 4a fool you. Google's computational photography is like god mode, despite having just one camera and an average hardware. You will be amazed to see the results between the two. One thing to note, I won't be giving my own personal opinion for each shot. I'll let you be the judge so you can make the best purchase decision for yourself without being influenced by me or anyone else. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. guys so this is the video comparison between the pixel 4a and the iphone 13 at 1080p 30 fps so as you can see we'll be comparing the colors the mics the shadows and everything even the exposure so i'm just panning around so you can get an idea of the colors and uh, the stabilization Both are looking pretty good at this point. I'll get to see the rear picture after editing or during editing. My bad. The Pixel 4 is actually looking quite good in the viewfinder, which is a pretty good thing. And uh, the colors look great on both. So now we'll see the stabilization between the two. And I'll just run. All right. So overall both look pretty good. 
but you'll be the judge uh so yeah that's pretty much it for the rear facing camera all right guys so this is the front camera uh video camera comparison between the pixel 4 and the iphone 13 and uh, again as the same as the rear camera we'll be comparing the stabilization colors exposure levels as well as the mics so i'm just walking around the garden and uh, so you can get an idea of the shadows the colors the dynamic range so we were doing a quick run to see the stabilization for the front camera so okay let's do a quick run in three two one go all right looks pretty good on both again just uh, like uh, the video comparison for the rear camera i feel this exposure level on the iphone 13 is well maintained whereas on the pixel 4a it's slightly up and down sometimes just brighten my face and sometimes it's too dull but i guess for the majority of the time it looks pretty good all right so that was the front video camera comparison between the two Alright guys, so as you've seen for yourself, the camera performance of both the devices is neck and neck. Both the phones got the colors almost right. In some cases, the Pixel did better and others the iPhone. The portraits were a hit or miss on both when it came to complex shaped objects, but they managed well when it came to human subjects, which in this case was me. Night side photography is absolutely amazing on both. And I have to praise the iPhone 13 series for the huge improvement in the low light performance thanks to the biggest sensors implemented by Apple. As for the videos, I was absolutely blown away by the iPhone 13, especially when HDR was turned on. Unfortunately, I had to convert the videos to SDR as necessary adjustments are needed to export the entire video in HDR of which I am not fully aware. But trust me. HDR videos shot on the iPhone 13 are just mind-blowingly good with very accurate colors and exposure levels. Having said all that, the Pixel 4a was extremely good with videos too. The colors are accurate plus the stabilization is insanely good and, in my opinion, better than most other phones at its price. Also, the microphone quality of the Pixel was loud and crystal clear. I just wish that Google could improve the consistency of the exposure level on the Pixel 4a. So guys, that's pretty much it with the camera comparison between the iPhone 13 and the Pixel 4a. I hope this comparison helped you in making the best purchase decision between the two and if it did, do let me know your opinion on it. 
Along with that, I'd really love to hear your feedback on this camera review. If you want any additional changes, let me know and I'll keep them in mind for the upcoming comparison videos. And if you like this video, you know the drill, you know what to do, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.